Life is full of chance encounters, but these bizarre events will make you wonder whether something else was at work. But it's quite a coincidence. Yes, that's all a coincidence. Big coincidence. Not a big coincidence, a coincidence. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest coincidences in history. For this list, we are looking at the weirdest chance encounters in history, or events that have been chalked up to coincidence but seem too eerie to be true. Oh, by the way, if you were thinking about voting for Jefferson, you shouldn't because he's dead. Some of these events are confirmed. Some may merely be stories that circulate like a game of broken telephone, but all of them are creepy. Number 10. Karma Kills Bear rust and let me die. Oh. 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 Many relationships end on a sour note, but they rarely result in the deaths of three people. Legend has it that in the late 19th century, Henry Ziegland broke up with his girlfriend, who killed herself as a result. Her brother hunted Ziegland down and shot him, committing suicide immediately after. Ziegland was not killed by the shot, however. The bullet barely missed him and came to a rest in a nearby tree. Years later, Ziegland attempted to blow up the tree, only to have the blast propel the bullet into his head, killing him. Number 9. The King's Double What are you doing here? And what has happened to your beard? I've been replaced by this body double who is a total embassy. For protection, many kings use body doubles. Apparently, King Umberto I of Italy came upon his own double by accident. Why is everyone staring? <gasps> Don't you see it? See what? The resemblance between us. While eating dinner at a small restaurant, Umberto noticed that the restaurant owner was nearly identical in looks to himself. But they soon discovered more similarities. They were both born in the same town on the same day in the same year. They both married a woman named Margarita, and the owner had opened his restaurant on the same day as Umberto was crowned king. Wait, it gets weirder. The day after the pair met, on July 29, 1900, the owner was killed in an accidental shooting, the same day that Umberto was assassinated. How weird is that? Extremely. Number 8. Two Finnish Brothers They say that twins have an incredibly strong bond and often know what the other is thinking, feeling, or doing. These two Finnish brothers took that bond to a whole other level in 2002, when both died on the same road in separate accidents within hours of each other. The first brother died when he was hit by a truck while riding his bike. The second brother died two hours later under the exact same circumstances, about 1.5 kilometers from the spot where his brother had been killed earlier. We ride together. We die together. Number 7. The Mysterious Monk Frustrated with life and depressed, painter Joseph Eigner attempted to commit suicide on multiple occasions, once when he was 18, once when he was 22. But according to Ripley's Believe It or Not, he was each time stopped by the same capuchin monk. When he was 30, Eigner was sentenced to death for his political activities but was again saved by the monk, who intervened on his behalf. Eventually, Eigner was successful and killed himself with a pistol when he was 68 years old. The funeral ceremony was conducted by, you guessed it, the exact same capuchin monk, whose name Eigner had never even learned. Number 6. Twin Boys My brother. A twin. What is it with twins and strange coincidences? Jim Springer and Jim Lewis were identical twins who were separated at birth and adopted by different families. Both families happened to name their boy James, but the similarities don't stop there. Both married women with the name Linda, each also had a son named James Allen, and both were involved in law enforcement. Both brothers divorced their wives and remarried women named Betty. And both owned dogs named Toy. At least they both haven't been killed on the same day. Yet. You and I are like, like sisters. 
sisters. Hallie, we're like twins. <laughs> Number five, the cannibalized boy. What does that have to do with what us? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm a cannibal, hombre. We're gonna fucking eat your ass. One of the greatest authors of the 19th century, Edgar Allan Poe wrote a book titled The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. The book depicted four shipwreck survivors who eventually killed and ate a boy named Richard Parker. Several years after the publication of Poe's story, a yacht called the Mignonette sank and left four survivors stranded at sea. The three older survivors eventually killed and ate the cabin boy, whose name was Richard Parker. Should all stop bickering and eat me. Look, I tell you what, why don't those of us who want to eat Johnson, then you, sir, can eat my leg, and then we can make a stock of the captain, and then after that we can eat the rest of Johnson cold for supper. Good thinking, Hodges! Number four, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, they were founding fathers of America, and they were also the best of friends. Adams was like the Constitution. You can kind of bend that how you need to bend it. We can kind of work with this. And Jefferson was always like, the Constitution is the Constitution. Can't f with that. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson were two of the most important players in the founding of the United States. Both played a large role in the creation and signing of the Declaration of Independence, which was eventually approved on July 4, 1776. Although their relationship deteriorated over the years, they eventually reconciled and oddly died on the exact same day. That day, July 4th, 1826, exactly 50 years after the signing of the Declaration. Son of shit. Number three, the 27 Club. Ooh, fuck silly. <laughs> The 27 Club refers to a group of famous people, mainly musicians, who have died at the age of 27. It started in the late 1960s when Rolling Stone Brian Jones, Doors frontman Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, and Jimi Hendrix all died at this age. Two and a half decades later, Kurt Cobain committed suicide at 27. And recently, Amy Winehouse overdosed and died at the age of 27. Winehouse actually stated years earlier that she was worried about dying at 27. All in all, the club has claimed over 40 musicians since the start of the 20th century. This is the Number two, Mark Twain and Halley's Comet. Comet Halley is making its regular 76-year pilgrimage around our sun, as it has been doing for countless centuries. Mark Twain was born on November 30th, 1835, just two weeks after Halley's Comet was visible on Earth. Twain, who was the author of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, seemed to strongly associate with this celestial event. In fact, he famously declared, quote, I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It is coming again next year, and I expect to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I don't go out with Halley's Comet. The Almighty has said no doubt. Now here are these two unaccountable freaks. They came in together, they must go out together. He died on April 21st, 1910, one day after the comet had returned. As it reaches the far end of its orbit, it'll slow down till the sun allows it to go no farther. Then it'll begin its long fall back to the inner solar system. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions.
Number one, the Titan and the Titanic. Get back! Ah! In 1898, Morgan Robertson published a novella entitled Futility or The Wreck of the Titan. The plot revolved around the HMS Titan, a British luxury liner that hit an iceberg and sank while crossing the northern Atlantic. Of course, in 1912, the Titanic sank in a similar fashion. And that's where things get bizarre. Both ships were considered unsinkable. Both hit an iceberg in the month of April, approximately 400 miles from Newfoundland. Both were approximately 800 feet long, and both resulted in the deaths of over 2,000 people. The lack of life jackets and lifeboats was also a serious problem for both ships, tragically so for the real-life Titanic. I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the creepiest coincidence in history? For more bizarre top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. No, that's a big coincidence. That's what the coincidence is. There are no small coincidences and big coincidences. <laughs> no, there are degrees of coincidences. No, there are only coincidences. Ask anyone. Other big coincidences and small coincidences are just coincidences. <laughs> well.